Hi everyone, and this is a legendary. I'm back again with more. This one's gonna be doing another Bailey Burst review. This one's gonna be on Gargoyle. So Gargoyle G4 is basically is basically a defensive side Beyblade that I didn't really get around to reviewing. For some reason, I just kind of opened up off camera and then didn't really think to do a review or unboxing on it until now at least. So. So I'm just going to get on to the review and then I'll tell you my thoughts. The layer is Gargoyle G4 which is mainly, which is kind of round, it's pretty round and circular. So I think it's pretty good for defense. The wings, I do like the color scheme too, where it has kind of this dark gray and then a little bit of, there's, there's yellow on the bottom which is random but I do like how the green and gray don't really seem to clash much. And then the red just kind of seems to be at in there and doesn't really... It doesn't really mess up the whole aesthetic look of the Beyblade. Then for the disc, the disc is 8. Not really much to say about 8. It used to be the heaviest disc. The original Beyblade that it was introduced with was Drain Fafnir and there's not really much to talk about because it's not really the heaviest in the game anymore unless you're talking about I was talking about just sword strike wise well this is massive slingshot so this is basically its debut the crazy part is that even though this is its debut it's not really the best I just don't really think it's the best so it's it has the shape of massive but it's like the little ball doesn't really protrude out enough for it to really make a difference. It does better than a defense slingshot, so I'll give him that. And then it's a twist pull twist. So then when you do twist pull twist, it looks like, I don't know, just kind of looks like an extended ball that kind of should have been atomic or something. I don't know, it just... It seems so weird to me, and I don't really like it. Now I'll do a test bow, and I'll tell you, now I'll tell you my thoughts. The test bow will be between Gargoyle G4, 8 Massive Slingshot, versus Wonder Valtrek, 12 Low Volcanic Slingshot. By the way, flow is just so I don't mess up my layer for gargoyle since I don't have a spare and for the last video I actually have a spare here because I'm planning to do a video with it. You'll see um <laughs> you'll see when Bayway Burst ends, okay? Anyway, let's get into the battle. Three, two, one, light. Yeah. KO in round one. Round two. Three, two, one. Let it go. This is kind of a test of its stamina now because every good defensive type needs to have a nice amount of stamina. Okay, Gargoyle wins. Round two. Round three. Three, two, one, light. Yeah. Again. I think if it lasts too long, I might just speed up. Okay, Gargoyle wins again. Three, two, one, light. I don't know if that was actually a burst finish or if that was just a over finish. Valchek wins that round. No, I'll just do one more battle just in case that wasn't a burst finish. Three, two, one, light. Whoa! 
Okay, so the battle is done for sure now. Um, Wonder Valtrek wins with a burst finish. Okay, so I think you can kind of see my point with this Beyblade now. Just after the battle video, it seems like it's a little bit too round to do any good. I do appreciate how round the Beyblade is, but it doesn't really seem to be the best in terms of hard defense. And it's always good to have a Beyblade that has good hard defense and also a nice amount of burst resistance. So, in terms of recommendations for how to make this Beyblade better, I'd say probably put Atomic Slingshock on it or regular Atomic, but just make sure to to give it some more round, some more round discs in order to help it in terms of stamina and defense. Just so that it won't burst as easy and that it will, and I will be able to take hard hits, hard and heavy hits. Since in, since in the, the um, since in the test battle, you did see it get destroyed by Valtrek a lot. With all the heavy hits. Also, um, why I recommend it? I do recommend it for collectors and for the people that do want to use it competitively. Because I do see potential in it. In terms of the design, it has some bumps. So that means that it can be used for... Some counterattacks, maybe. It could be used for... Could, could also be used as a stamina type, too. It has decent stamina. Master Slingshock has decent stamina. And with Master Slingshock also being a ball and tip, it literally, when it's in Slingshock mode, has some decent stamina to still go with its attacking pattern. So, I feel like it has a lot of potential. So, I do recommend it for tournaments. Well, not really tournaments. I don't really recommend it for that. But I do recommend it for people that are trying to play the game for fun, collectors, and in somewhat tournament people. In terms of tournaments, I think it's kind of on the fence because it depends on what parts you have and what you believe will make this be way better. Anyway, like if you want, favorite if you want, and subscribe to become a legend in the making. See you next time. Bye. And we are proven to be legendary.